Hi friends, so today's topic of discussion is about the basics of legal procedure. So we're not going into detail about the big definitions, the big things in the legal procedure. So we're just going to have a basic understanding about the courts and the types of law. So let's get in. So the first code which we have to know is IPC. So the full form is Indian Penal Code. Yes, Indian Penal Code. So under this three things which we have to know when it was enacted, when it was enacted and the number of sections under it and what is the function. Right? So it was enacted in the year 1860. So a trick to remember this year. In childhood, we used to have this geography maps. So we represent the state with a color, a key. So I represent India with the number 18 with no particular reason. India, okay. And 60 as 60th birthday. You know, 60th birthday is considered as a milestone where we celebrate it so big. So I remember it like that. So 1860. So the number of sections in it are 511. So what is the function? So IPC, this P, it represents punishment. Yes, punishment. So why punishment? Only if you do a wrong, you will get punishment. So that wrong here is considered as crime. Yes, so the function of IPC is crimes and punishment. So all these sections will be dealing or focusing about this. Okay. So the next one is CRPC. So what is the full form of this? It's not criminal penal code. It is criminal procedure code. Okay. So when it was enacted. And how many sections are there? And what is the function? So it was enacted in the year 1973. So we're reading Criminal Procedure Code as second. So that was 1860. So this after 18, I consider this is 19. This 73 we can remember as God created seven wonders okay or the seven wonders have been created by God so first is seven God is being represented by three which is Trinity okay 1973 and how many sections are there in this there are four 84 section so 4 plus 4, 8. So I have in, left a gap here. 4, 84 section. Okay. So what is the function of this? Like I have underlined here the procedure. The function is the procedure which is being followed by law enforcing authorities. Okay, so a crime has happened. We know what punishment we are going to get. It's just not left out there. So we there should be a procedure, right? So once a crime happens, all these police people or any law enforcing people will come into place. And then how will it happen or how will it proceed? So that procedures have been dealt under this criminal procedure code. And the third one we have to know is I. E A, which is nothing but Indian Evidence Act. Indian Evidence Act. Okay. So when it was enacted, it was enacted in the year 1872. I said key for India is 18. 
yes 18 72 most of our favorite doni okay so his jersey number is 7 and next you consider do in hindi is 2 so it is 1872. So, number of sections we are not much interested. Function. This we are interested in. Okay. Like the name suggests. Here. It is about the rules regarding the procedure. In which the person is depositing his evidence in the court. Okay. So yeah, first the crimes we have dealt and next the procedure we know. So someone has to deposit the evidence, right? So what are the rules for this? So whatever happens, there should be a rule. So, this Indian Evidence Act has the rules for which the evidence is being deposited in the court. Okay. These are the basic codes which we have to know. And next is, I think it's most of us will know about this, but there will be a little bit confusion. Law. What is a law? Law is nothing but a rule which is being made. In a state or a country. See now, suppose I, you know, I don't uh, like my sibling and I just pinch her. So you cannot call me as a criminal, right? Only if I murder her, you can call me as a criminal. So that scenario will apply here. So there are two types of law here. Okay. So one is civil the other one is criminal. Okay. So imagine this is an angry person and this is a soft person. Okay. Yes. So these both persons are having a fight. So what is the definition? It is a dispute between two parties. Okay. It is a dispute between two parties. Whereas here if you take the criminal law, okay, here it is P, 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 you have to remember. P is person, this P is property, this is public safety. These are all together is represented as or told as public interest. Anything that is happening against a public interest, that is a criminal law. Okay? Yes. So, what are the examples for this? Anything? We need to have an example, right? So, I will consider this as a couple. Cup. Okay? So, they enter into a contract, we say. Contract. Okay. And they breach that contract. So, when there is a breach of contract, that is an example of civil law. And next, once it is breached, or else say still they are trying to mend it, but as days prolong, they get bored and they want to separate. It leads to divorce. Okay. So, if a person gets divorced, will they be silent? No. They will definitely demand for some money, right? So, compensation. Okay. Compensation. So this is regarding to a couple where we can remember. And the fourth one is negligent. Any negligent activity can be considered as a civil law. Okay. So, what is the punishment here? Or what is the outcome for this one and for the criminal law. So, the outcome for the civil law is compensation. Compensation. Whereas, your criminal law outcome is 
punishment because it's going to be big right so they'll be awarded with punishment a most important thing you have to remember in a criminal law so any problem happens if a person wants to get to a court and get compensation you'll have a lawyer for each party but as a criminal law like i've mentioned it's about public right public so this is being represented by a person called as pp if you are more into web series you know you'll be hearing this words like pp who is the public prosecutor you know he'll have that uh, power there so he is called as a public prosecutor okay public prosecutor so it will be a case between the state versus an individual okay this pp will represent the state so he will be fighting against the individual to get justice and prove guilty or not okay so these are the basic things which we have to know if you go into the books any book in the legal procedure they'll be giving you ipc crpc iea and next will come the civil and the criminal law so this is about the today's video i know it's very short but if you know this basic understanding you'll never make a mistake so i'll meet you all in the next video okay let's have a happy learning